No, so good afternoon, everyone. Welcome again to another. Uh, Sorry, uh, another episode of Dixie Live. So every Thursday, yeah, sometimes it happens on a Friday, but every Thursday we deliver um, live events that we can all relate to, no? Uh, men and women alike, of course. So uh, this afternoon, um, I will not be talking about insurance, but we invited somebody who is very capable of, of talking about insurance. Ayan. So he is UBX Singapore Country Head and Managing Director of Savings and Insurance. So Assured is an insurance platform that virtualizes insurance packaging and experience by delivering multiple protection products from multiple insurance carriers through multiple channels. Oh, diba? Ang daming word na multiple. <laughs> he will explain that further. So, UBX is named as the fastest growing fintech company in Southeast Asia in 2021 by Global Banking and Finance. So, our guest is based in Singapore, has 10 years of experience in the insurance industry working on digital strategy, innovation, and partnership distribution. In his pe uh, previous role, he was responsible for sourcing and evaluating startups for collaboration and strategic investment. He also has worked on digital um, initiatives across Southeast Asia and, of course, um, Kasama Yung India with focus on alternative um, channel distribution, AI, artificial intelligence, interesting, and micro insurance in, in developing markets. He has worked on partnerships with um, several companies, which uh, I think familiar tayo, no? American Express, Grab, very popular in the Philippines, SingPost. And prior to joining UBX, he was also the deputy head of Tokyo Marine Innovation Lab in Singapore. Uh, his most uh, recent award, ayan, I should say this is an award because it is an award. He was awarded as the most engaged mentor award under UBX's InsureTech program. So I will no longer uh, prolong <laughs> um, the, um, my introduction because, you know, yeah, you will see uh, and hear more of him. Let's all welcome our um, guest today, Mr. Cyrus Cruz. Do we do that, Attorney V? Good afternoon, everyone. Attorney V, thank you for the very good introduction. I'm very humbled. Uh, hopefully, I could deliver to the expectations of uh, everyone who's watching today. And if I could also make a shout out, my family and relatives and friends are also watching the Instagram. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I lost your audio, attorney. I can hear you. Okay, go ahead. And uh, shall I go ahead and talk about insurance, Attorney B? Or... Yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, thank you for having me. And uh, the reason why I recently uh, joined UBX, uh, as you've shared er earlier, uh, I've been in the Southeast Asia market for a good 10 years. Uh, and I've worked on some projects in the Philippines. Uh, I I'll try not to be very corporate speaking. Uh, I, I do know uh, we have one of the lowest penetration rates in insurance in the Philippine market. Simply put, what does that mean? Um, in terms of people buying insurance against the overall population, is that tayo sa mababa? You can't hear me? Uh, if I may interrupt you, meron ka daw um, echo. Uh, please lower na lang the volume on your IG. Okay. Yeah. I'll try to push it away. Mm -mm. Yung lowest volume. We can hear you naman, but yun, wala yeah. It's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Mm -hmm. Can I can I turn off my Zoom mic instead? Uh you can lower the volume na lang siguro. Yeah, that's the lowest it can go. Yeah. Give me one second. Can I just turn off my IG? IG volume? No. Yeah. 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 You're using a different. Ano naman, no? You're using a different. Yeah, I'm, I'm using a different device. Yeah. But the call volume wouldn't go down. Mm -hmm. 
what is happening. Uh, uh, we have. How about you turn down your volume on? Uh, no, it doesn't work. Echo uh, on your on your on your Zoom. You mm -hmm. turn down the volume, na lang. Yeah. Like lowest volume. There. Can you hear me? Yes. Is there still an echo? No more. I can't hear any echo anymore. Okay, great. So anyway, uh, I was talking about lowest. That was a buzzkill. Uh, yes, uh, I was talking about the low penetration rate of the insurance product. And uh, we have one of the lowest ones in the market, not just against developed markets, but also in developing markets like Indonesia and Vietnam. And uh, like what you mentioned, Attorney V, earlier, uh, one of the reasons is because, uh, again, you see an insurance policy, it's intimidating. Uh, and when we see something that we don't understand, it's either like we don't pay attention to it or, worst case, uh, we become hostile to it. Uh, and uh, one thing I've been always saying is, uh, especially specific to the Philippines, uh, for anyone here who was born in the 80s or probably was already uh, had some memories in the 90s, uh, we had some uh, bad experiences uh, publicly known uh, with insurance policies in the market. And uh, it had that stigma that we have of uh, whether insurance products actually work or not. But I think we're at a good position right now, uh, especially, of course, as we know about digitization, that uh, insurance products are easier to understand and could easily be accessed. But then I was thinking, uh, well, there's a lot of fancy stuff and discussion and how I could, you would be able to sell insurance, talk about digital platforms, et cetera. But I think it starts off with like educating the market. And I was thinking, it's like, if I was someone who didn't know or don't want to understand what insurance is, uh, how would you get my attention? And I thought for this talk, uh, Attorney V, I'd like to share some of like, uh, after this session, uh, takeaways from the crowd that's watching us today, uh, I'd like for you to uh, learn about some insurance, interesting insurance products that are available in the market globally, not through UBX, by the way. Uh, and also, what's the, what's the basic concept of uh, insurance? Like if somebody asks you, underbuying insurance, how does it work? You could explain in very simple terms. Uh, number three, uh, I'd also like to share about the difference between life and general insurance. I think that's still not common knowledge for us, especially for laymen. And it's not just Philippines, it's everyone else. Because when you talk about insurance, uh, you immediately think, oh, life insurance. Yeah. And that's where your friend goes to Starbucks with you and tell you that they want to catch up. But later on, they're selling an insurance policy, right? I, I think that that would have happened to some of us already. Uh, so we'd like to... Uh, identify the difference between life and general insurance. And of course, uh, lastly, I'd like to share like new products that are available in the market right now that we will be launching for UBX. And these are some things that are interesting and you could access. So I think I'll start off with the, uh, what do you call this? The products that we have in uh, the interesting insurance products that we have in the market industry. Uh, one of which, uh, Attorney V, uh, if I may ask Attorney V, uh, are you still there? Uh, yes, I'm still here. Yeah, uh, I'd like to check if any of our audiences uh, are married or have uh, had a wedding before. Um, I I am seeing some friends here who are married. Uh, let's see if I could see on Facebook. No, there are more people on Facebook. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Yes. So one of the interesting products that uh, in the insurance market uh, that they came with was uh, damaged wedding gown insurance. And you know, this is very stressful event for any woman's life. And those wedding gowns uh, could be very pricey and you don't want your day to be ruined uh, for some unfortunate accident. So they, there's actually an insurance out there in the market that uh, covers for damaged wedding gown, including if your dog accidentally uh, ruins your wedding gown. Uh, another interesting product is the change of heart. Nagbago uh, isep, you got cold feet. You're about to get married. You made the down payment to the suppliers. You uh, paid for the, what do you call this? The entourage uh, clothes. And all of a sudden, you and your fiance, unfortunately, had the change of heart and decide not to proceed with the wedding. So there's also an insurance coverage for that, that you will get refunded for the uh, down payments and everything that you paid for in advance. I mean, conceptually, I mean, these are very relatable scenarios and uh, quite interesting. So there's an insurance product for that, right? Uh, second one, uh, we'll go to the luxury side. 
insurance for uh, high net worth individuals. So in fact, here, uh, I, I came from very humble beginnings here at Turney V. Uh, I started off like selling insurance over the phone, uh, motor insurance to be specific. Uh, we got a quotation at one time for a Lamborghini. It's a, of course, and the car prices here in Singapore are crazy ridiculous, right? So I was new to the industry. I didn't know, okay, how much would you think uh, Lamborghini insurance would cost? Maybe I'll put you on the spot at Turn EV uh, so that we have some banter. How uh, do you think, uh, how much would the Lamborghini insurance cost? Um, wait, I'll put my mic on. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Siguro mga more than 100? A thousand year? pesos? Yeah. Actually, that's a very good that's a very good guesstimate because right now in the Philippines, I remember you were telling me about the story yesterday uh, mm -hmm. on your personal experience with the uh, motor insurance. And yeah, uh, if you don't mind me asking, <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, how much did you pay for your uh, motor insurance? Uh, first and foremost, <laughs> I don't have a Lamborghini. Uh, okay, so <laughs> yeah. uh, my my car isn't a Lamborghini, no, it's actually yeah. a truck. So uh, I paid for. The first year I paid um, around thirty thousand for for uh, motor insurance, and it was the one of the best decisions I made. Yeah, I'd like to hear more about that story later. But yeah, no, that's uh, that's right. That's right about the same amount here for a standard uh, vehicle. Uh, insurance policies would cost about the same uh, for a comprehensive coverage. And interestingly enough, this uh, Lamborghini, and it was a, it was an interesting conversation. Whereas I called the person. And I'd expect like this 50-year-old businessman or something. It was like a 30-year-old student or something like that. And uh, what was interesting about this was the quotation that we gave for the... And we went down to like almost just break even in terms of pricing. We quoted him 20,000 Sing dollars, which in today's Philippine peso money is about 700,000 pesos per year for the Lamborghini insurance. And what's more interesting is like uh, what we call it the name policy, meaning if me and my wife are the owners of the Lamborghini for some reason, uh, I am the only one who's allowed to drive it where it will be covered. But if my wife will, were to drive it, the policy will not be covered. But if I want to put her on the policy, then we will have to pay additional. But yeah, that's, uh, that's another interesting insurance anecdote for high net worth individuals. Uh, there's also insurance uh, for um, jewelry and painting. There's a special... Um, a special coverage for that. In fact, interestingly, Attorney V, uh, one of the few underwriters for fine arts insurance is also a Filipina uh, here in Singapore. Uh, she used to work with the Chubb Insurance. Uh, hope she's uh, watching. Uh, but yeah, that's interesting. Uh, and further to that, uh, kidnapping. There's also kidnapping insurance uh, for high profile individuals who are traveling to certain places. Uh, but of course, the insurance, the insurance companies wouldn't like to make that public. Kasi di ba, pag nalaman ng kidnapper, may insurance ka pala, eh, di sabihin nila, di demand nila yung full claim ng insurance policy. So that, that's an interesting one. And further to uh, probably the third section of the interesting insurance products that I came across in the market uh, will be the body parts insurance. I I'm, I'm, I'm keep referencing to the 90s. I don't know why attorney B. Uh, maybe it's our generation. I remember at that time, parang, uh, they were talking about Tina Turner's legs uh, had insurance uh, so that if she had a scratch on it, then uh, she'll get some compensation. But uh, further to that, uh, if I may put you on the spot as well, Attorney V, I'd like you to guess which aspect of their body is covered. I'll give you a celebrity or a profession, and I'll let you guess which part of their body is insured. Let's start off with uh, Julia Roberts, popular actress, Julia Roberts. You know her her legs. <laughs> She's popular for her. Ni pen. Smile. <laughs> oh, di ba? Wrong answers. Okay. Yeah, close enough. And then the other one, there's a food critic, uh, popular food critic in Europe, and he had a part of his body that was insured. Uh, care to make a guess, Attorney V? What part of his body? Since food critic, I don't know something in. His, her mouth? I don't know. <laughs> yes, taste buds. Because if I taste well and it's accurate, then I'd be able to get a good assessment. Interesting. Uh, okay, this one, I'll, th I'll throw you a softball, Attorney V. Uh, Mariah Carey. Boy, her, her, her larynx? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Medical. Yeah, it's her voice. It's her voice. It's her voice. Okay. That's insured. 
Um, and then, yeah, a few more or less, less interesting and less easier ones. Uh, popular band member Keith Richards, his hands were injured because he plays the guitar. Yeah. And lastly, of course, model Heidi Klum. Her, her legs? Yes. <laughs> okay, you got the two out of, yeah, actually you got three out of five. Not bad, attorney. Fee. And lastly, probably the craziest one I've seen is alien abduction insurance. This is not a regulated one. This is something that they sold. Oh. So if you be abducted by aliens, then the policy will kick in. But uh, for a proof of claim, you need an alien to validate that they've abducted you. So yeah, it's, a, it's, a fun, it's a fun anecdote, okay. but they're in the market. So that, that ends my section for um, what they call this interesting insurance products in the market. Hope, hope that's something for you guys to bring on your next water cooler discussions or maybe in your next Inuman sessions. But uh, I think uh, the second part that Tony V, what I'd like to discuss is like, how can we strip down the concept of insurance? Like, paano ba siya ipapaintindi sa bata, for example, or like someone who's just starting to understand it. And uh, thanks, Attorney V, for helping me out with this on uh, identifying how we'll strip it down uh, to layman's term. And uh, let's say we stay in a the neighborhood. There's 10 of us neighbors, right? Sampung bahay yan makakatabi. And for some weird reason, Every year, there's a storm that comes in, right? I think in uh, in Manila, every ano yan, August or September, di ba? Bagyo? Actually, kahit ano eh, July. Kahit, kahit kahit April. <laughs> so let's just say for, for every, once a year, may dagating na bagyo, and it's guaranteed that one of us will get their roof taken. Matatangay, matatangay yung bubong mo. Now for you, uh, to repair the damage to your roof, it will cost you 10,000 pesos. So, sampu tayo attorney V and the rest of our viewers. And if I'm the unlucky one, then that's uh, 10,000 pesos out of my pocket that I didn't plan for. So, I'm down 10,000 pesos, which is not a good story, right? On the other hand, what we could do is the similar of the concept of paluwagan. I'm not sure if our uh, audience are familiar with the concept of paluwagan. So, it's a community fund, diba? Right? So, there's 10 of us and we could all pay... Uh, what do you call this? A uh, hundred pesos per month, or the equivalent of a thousand two hundred pesos per year. So that when that storm comes in and one of us uh, gets their roof taken, that policy will kick. It will that that lump sum of money will be used. So one thousand two hundred per household times ten. That's twelve thousand pesos. Ten thousand pesos will be spent for the person whose uh, roof was damaged. So, in the end, everyone is out by 1,200 pesos. That's the realistic part. But at the same time, that one person who would have lost 10,000 pesos didn't lose 10,000 pesos because he already paid for the uh, community fund, which is the 1,200. Now you're probably asking, there's 12,000 pesos that was collected from all 10 people, but I only paid $10,000, uh, 20,000 pesos for the roof. Saan na punta yung 2,000 pesos? So the 2,000 pesos is spent for that insurance company or the one who's facilitating it to run their operations. So it's not that... Uh, there's also this misconception na parang nag-scam yung insurance company kasi kumikita sila pag hindi sila nagbabayad ng claim. But in reality, the margins are really thin. Kawawa din yung mga insurance companies. Uh, the, some, some products are barely making it, especially pag merong madaming mga claims Halimbawa, uh, popularly in the Philippines, like motorcycle accidents are quite high. Uh, so if you could, uh, if you notice that, so for example, you're charging a certain fee, and all of a sudden, nagkaroon ng surge ng motorcycle claim accident claims, the insurance companies could even go uh, in the red or malulugi sila. Uh, that's a reality. I mean, look at COVID, di ba? Uh, before it happened, uh, there wasn't uh, the the price of a COVID insurance wasn't so high, but then as as soon as it was what it was uh, the, the number of cases were spiking and then hospital bills are raking up, you could see like fine tuning of the insurance policies to the point that some of them don't even cover COVID, and it's not it's not it's not a deliberate attempt. I think that's one thing that I'd like to bring out to the market, but I'm still figuring out how to attorney V that not insur not <laughs> insurance companies are not evil and scheming you to like earn money out of you it's actually a learned science on how to manage risk and be able to right fit it for the uh, intended audience um, but what's interesting about that is as much as i talk about like financial uh, how should i put the security with an insurance product the industry has also evolved parang hindi na, hindi na lang siya babayad ng uh, uh, what you call this um, uh, ng 
money sa'yo, ang gagawin din nila is they'd also provide value-add services. So for example, real-life example right now available in the, I think it's also available in the Philippines, gadget insurance. So for example, I bought my new Samsung phone or iPhone and it got accidentally damaged. And yes, I have extra money, but I could go to Green Hills. Uh, I'm not sure. Do we still go to uh, Green Hills Attorney V uh, to get the mobile phone repaired? Uso pa ba yun? Hindi na. Uh, of course. A- ako, ano, laking green hills ako eh. <laughs> uh, I live there actually. There you go. So, but right now, insurance companies, what they do, well, insurance service providers, on top of providing you a safety and like a peace of mind, na kahit mabagsak yung phone mo, it's okay, some, 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 someone will re- repair it for you. Instead of just giving you the money, what they do is like, they go to your house, they pick up your mobile phone, they repair it, then they send it back to you. It's a value-add service beyond money. On top of that, there would there could be services as well as like while we're repairing your phone or in your case, attorney V and your unfortunate car accident, uh, some coverage is also provide like alternative vehicles. So habang nasa kasa yung sasakyan mo, they will provide your replacement vehicle. So you have something to use. Uh, one value we could get from insurance, like let's not think of it na, oh, may, may makukuha kong pera. Parang matatanggalan ako ng sakit ng ulo. Y- yun, yung ano, yun yung lagi ko inisip when I buy my insurance products. Um, another one is like online shopping. I'm sure everyone, uh, I, I, it's default na, no? Parang everybody buys online na. Yeah, you look at it online, you look, then you go to the mall, you check it, then you go back home, you buy it online with it. Uh, we do shopping at Lazada, Shopee, and everywhere. Uh, and then from time to time, of course, there will be delivery uh, mishaps. Could be the, the delivery was, uh, the product was damaged or it got lost. So there's an insurance policy that will kick in to cover you for that loss. No need to call Lazada and the customer service, makipag-away ka pa for a refund. The insurance policy will kick in and everything will be taken care of. So again, uh, instead of like thinking about the financial gain that you'll get from the insurance policy, think of it like mawawala ka ng sakit ng ulo tsaka ng sama ng loob. <laughs> ba? Yan yung sinasabi ko, attorney B. Now, uh, further to that, uh, the third one uh, that I'd like to share with all of the audience right now is what's the difference between life insurance and general insurance? Because diba pag sinabi nilang insurance, everybody will think, oh, uh, if I may drop popular household names in the Philippines like Sun Life, AXA, and then they'll give you this investment link product, term life insurance, yun yung lagi natin naisip. But what I've been talking about for the past 15, 20 minutes is about general insurance products. So to put it simply, Life insurance covers life of a person. Yung buhay mo, di ba? Pag matay ka, may, may nangyari, hindi maganda, may makukuhang uh, uh, benefit, benefit. Ngayon, yung general insurance naman uh, provides cover to other aspects and assets in a person's life, uh, which is a, was what we've been talking about. Your house, your car, your health, and of course, pre-COVID, it was uh, travel. So uh, that's what it is, uh, attorney V. And uh, ang ginagawa namin ngayon to educate the market other than having this uh, talks, Attorney V, is that we would like to put insurance products sa mga araw-araw na ginagawa natin. So again, like when you buy something online, there's a small checkbox over there. Then you can yeah. get a delivery guarantee. Uh, this is not a new concept. It's an old concept. For example, before COVID, right, uh, you'd buy a Philippine Airlines, Singapore Airlines ticket, and there's that checkbox if you want to buy insurance. Right, so uh, that that's still the same concept, except we're putting it in more types of products and services. So, for example, down the line, what we'd like to do is, for example, food delivery service uh, for a minimum fee of like five pesos. If your food gets delayed, then you'll get compensated for the full amount, for example. But more realistically, what we're working on right now is for the online shopping. If you buy something and it gets lost or damaged, uh, you'll be instantly compensated for the amount that you purchased it for, uh, which I think is very interesting. Um, another concept of uh, embedded insurance is yung when you have your credit card, your credit card comes off with a, a personal accident plan that you may not know is there, but it's actually there. So we're trying to identify which experiences uh, you we facilitate on a daily basis that so will introduce insurance products there. Yep, and I think for the fourth and last part, uh, I've talked about like fun insurance concepts, uh, the basic function of insurance, and also the difference between life and general uh, insurance as well. 
uh, I'd like to share like some of the products that we're working in because our aim uh, at UPX and also my personal aim as well uh, because I've seen markets. Of course, it's easy to say na parang sa states, sa Japan, sa Australia, very common na bumili ng insurance kasi part na culture nila kasi developed market sila, right? Similar to Singapore. However, um, what do you call this? Developing markets like India and Indonesia, I've seen them also pick up on the insurance penetration rate. Nagiging sophisticated na rin yung financial literacy ng mga tao sa Indonesia at India. And I think we're trailing behind. And uh, I, I would like for to see Philippines for us to reach that level of maturity that Indonesia has. Uh, and what we plan to do is on top of doing embedded insurance, perhaps what we could also do is introduce fun and uh, relatable insurance products uh, maybe we don't want to talk about our death or magkasakit or our cars getting damaged or our house getting burned. But maybe one thing that everybody could relate to is a shoe, shoe insurance. There's a shoe insurance in the market uh, from India uh, that we're exploring to bring to the Philippines as well. What does this mean? Pag bumili ka na sapatos at na damage siya, nakaapa ka ng pako or natapilok ka or something, then... Um, uh, we will be able to refund you for the full amount of the shoe. But of course, there's terms and conditions with that. So I think that's quite rather interesting. Um, this, is, this is applicable in the Philippines, no? Uh, we'll be able to bring it to the Philippine market. Okay. Uh, but Again. To be honest, Attorney V, no? um, I was thinking, sino kaya magandang partner para i-promote yung uh, shoe insurance, di ba? Um, that, that's one. And then another one that's live, this is uh, available in the market with one of our partners. Mm -hmm. Um and then uh, what they do is uh, bicycle insurance. Diba? Na uso ngayon okay. yung mga cyclists natin. And uh, gone are the days that my BMX bike only cost a few thousand pesos. Now the bicycles cost as much as a Lamborghini, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> especially especially this, this pandemic, no? people became, you know, like, um, nag nagkaroon sila ng mga iba't ibang hobbies and, yeah. uh, you know, um, ways to be fit. And yep. uh, cycling is actually one of them. Agree. So that's why uh, our very good friends, our partner Mercantile Insurance, uh, mm -hmm. has a bicycle insurance cover uh, to be able to cover this uh, high, high end, if that's the term, uh, or <laughs> utility uh, bicycles. I think that's a better term for it. Uh, so that's something that we're also working on and in introducing to the market. Another insurance product, I think Attorney V, you and myself uh, would be able to use is spectacles insurance. What's the, oh, spec okay, okay, okay. Uh, you accidentally damage your spectacle. Uh, apparently, I didn't know that the spectacles have serial numbers. And you can take a photo of the damaged uh, spectacle and then the serial number. Then the claims process is also through the application. Again, going back, it's not about getting a financial gain from the insurance. It's like tanggal ng sakit ng ulo. Nasira yung salamin ko. I have to go back to the spectacle shop buy another one out of my pocket to draw my money. But for this insurance cover, I go to the spectacle shop. I don't need to withdraw money because they're going to give me store credits. Alam mo, I should have known this eh. Kasi to be honest, this these uh, pair of glasses I'm wearing right now, uh, naapakan ko siya mga last week. So, medyo, it's not in its perfect condition. So, it would have been, you know, like <laughs> a nice help. Yeah. Attorney Via, I'm, I'm starting to no notice a pattern. Uh, a car accident, a <laughs> damaged spectacle. Grabe ka naman. Ano lang yon? That's it. <laughs> Wala nang ibang nangyari. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, uh, hopefully you stay safe. Or, yeah, you can buy insurance para wala ka sakit ng ulo, di ba? <laughs> and so then, uh, as I've been saying, uh, Goods in Transit, we're talking to one of the online retailers in the market. Uh, again, they're their friends from Mercantile. Uh, uh, on providing like that guarantee. Again, uh, you're waiting for something that you bought. You bought a 65-inch uh, TV that you've been saving up and then when they delivered it to you nila, or it got lost, uh, mm -hmm. then that would be such a hassle. Obviously, the companies will pay for it or reimburse it to some extent. But at the same time, you'd have to have that conversation, go to customer service, send a lengthy email and complain, but uh, what if you had just had an insurance product? It's very straightforward and you can claim with. Now, uh, and probably the last product and to wrap up, we're providing, and this is what we're providing to the Big C app users uh, for the first 100 to download, uh, well, not download, uh, to register. Uh, we'll be notifying in the following weeks on how to register for the product. We'll be providing a personal accident plan. And personal accident plan is very common in the industry. Uh, because again, 
we don't want anything bad to happen. But of course, it's good for us to have this coverage. So in the event that there's an accidental death or permanent disability due to an accident, um, could be, I, I don't want to get grave, but uh, and then I got permanently disabled because of that, then I'll get a compensation of about 50,000 pesos uh, for this one. I mean, I, quite upfront, it's not... It's probably not a lot, but of course, uh, it's our way of introducing what the insurance, how an insurance product works. But while that's not a lot, a lot, one interesting thing about this product is it also comes with unlimited use of telemedicine. So going back for insurance products, we've gone beyond, we've gone beyond just providing financial compensation, but we're providing value add services na magagamit mo. Hindi yung parang naglagay ka ng pondo and then if nothing happens, then that's it, which is good. But at the same time, it will be better if I have value add services. And again, uh, go ahead. Uh, no, Cyrus, very, ano, very, uh, gusto ko yung part na unlimited uh, telemedicine, no? especially during these times, kasi uh, kung ako, uh, I don't, let's say, I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna, um, uh, kumbaga, put myself out there na may risk of being infected or getting sick, telemedicine talaga would be, you know, a very convenient um, tool, especially, Pwede, ngayon naman every everyone is online everyone has a phone ganyan so very ano talaga to very uh, very essential kumbaga and very timely also yeah i agree uh, especially for uh, I mean, the obvious yung lockdown and quarantine diba? mm-hmm. uh, then uh, it's very useful and i think even before the pandemic uh, we were working on a project in my previous company uh, yung rational namin was uh, because this was in india attorney v yung mga hospitals and clinic mas malalayo dun sa mga far-flung areas sa India. And because ang naging rational nito, kasi naging accessible na yung data eh. Actually, sa India, napakamura ng data. So, okay lang mag-video call sila. So, gumagawa sila ng mga satellite clinics where pupunta dun yung tao, tatawag siya dun sa telemedicine dun. Kausapin niya yung doktor instead of traveling down to the city na mas malayo. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, yes, uh, we have that uh, available again with our partner, insurance partner, Mercantile. Uh, this is, uh, I think we have a question. There's like, can, can I get more details in the insurance yeah. giveaway? Yes. So, we will be providing that. The insurance coverage is accidental death and or permanent disability of up to 50,000 pesos and also accidental medical reimbursement. In plain English, um, again, my coconut, a coconut fell in my head. I get some stitches, I go to the hospital, I can claim up to 5,000 pesos. Kung ano man or maybe, okay, medyo colorful masyado yung coconut falling on my head. Uh, nagluluto ako, I cut my finger by accident. I go to the hospital, I get some stitches, I can get covered up to 5,000 pesos. Uh, and the second one is unlimited cover for uh, uh, telemedicine, uh, unlimited utilization of telemedicine. And this will run for uh, 30 days, uh, free of charge uh, to Bixi app downloaders, uh, we will send you a notification in your app in the following weeks uh, for you to be able to register to that, uh, to answer the question. Uh, Cyrus, uh, yeah. uh, sorry, are you done with uh, are you done with the coverage? Not yet. So we yes, have I'm done. Per- I'm done with the coverage. Okay, uh, so we have I, I'm person- just have uh, the video uh, part uh, in case we're ready to showcase how the telemedicine product works. Okay, sige. so we have personal summarize natin ha para makita ma- pa- marinig ng mga viewers and kung may bagong dumating. So we have uh, personal or accident insurance, tama? And then uh, medical, tama ba? Med- limited medical insurance and we also have the last one, unlimited telemedicine services. Yep. 50,000 okay. uh, 50, pesos for accidental death or permanent disability. Mm-hmm. Lump sum. Medical reimbursement for injuries, accidental injuries of up to 5,000 pesos. I cut mm-hmm. my finger while cooking, get 5,000 pesos. Well, up to 5,000 pesos reimbursed. And the third one is unlimited use of telemedicine. Okay. So ayan so uh, I believe you were uh, you're you're showing us a video no right now on you know on, on more uh, para mas malaman namin kung ano yung uh, yes ano paano na, kung paano tama ba kung paano makakapag-avail yung mga maka, yung first yung especially the first 100 users na makakapag-claim yeah. so okay, uh, okay great I my my ano I cannot share my screen uh, attorney please uh, can, can, Ay, okay can, I can, I'll, can. I'll I'll ano ba I think the pop uh, um uh, let's ask somebody to make you as the host. Okay, so Okay, you're now a host. 
Okay, thanks, Attorney V. And again, this is to showcase. So again, we've talked about the benefits of the free insurance product that you're going to get. Uh, this is the unlimited telemedicine cover for 30 days and uh, how to use it. Uh, that's what we will show you. Give me one second. Yeah, you can share now. Is there audio? Uh, I can't hear anything. I think you have to share the audio too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Decades doctors are all internationally trained in the practice of telemedicine, covering multiple specialties. You can call MedGate's doctors anytime, anywhere, with no lines. Whether you're in the province, stuck in traffic, or enjoying your holiday abroad, our doctors will be there to give you the care you deserve. It's so easy. Just grab your phone and call Doc if you feel sick. This is Marijo. She's out of town with her family. When all of a sudden, Marijo feels sick. Marijo's husband, Ray, notices and asks what's wrong. Now Ray is worried. Will they go through three hours of traffic to go to the hospital? And when they get there, do they have to wait in line for another hour or two? Instinctively, Marijo brings out her phone and calls Medgate directly. Marijo identifies herself and describes her symptoms. A doctor handles her situation immediately. Leveraging over 16 years of international medical knowledge, Medgate has developed statistically based teletreatment guidelines for the medical treatment and caring of its members. The doctor asks for a picture of the affected area and tells her to send it through the Medgate app. Back at Medgate, the doctor uses the system to pull out Marijo's past treatment records to get a full understanding of her history. The doc asks Marijo a series of questions about her condition. What is she feeling? He asks Marijo to take her temperature. Doc makes an analysis, compares the photo of her rash, then makes a diagnosis. The Medgate doctor considers the best course of treatment for Marijo's illness. Hello. Since Marijo is out of town, Doc prescribes medications and recommends that she rests where she is. Marijo doesn't need to leave the barbecue and her family. She just needs to sit down and rest and schedule a follow-up call for later that day. Through Medgate's delivery pharmacy partners, her medication is delivered in no time. At the scheduled time, Medgate's doctor calls back and asks how Marijo is doing, reassesses her symptoms, and determines that her illness is improving, and gives Marijo a clean bill of health. Now Marijo is back at the barbecue and back with her happy family, who are all relieved that she is healthy. Remember, with Medgate, your doctor is just a landline mobile or digital video call away in the day at night on weekends when you're enjoying your holidays in the province stuck in traffic or even abroad when you feel sick simply pick up the phone and call doc anytime anywhere no line medgate giving you the care you deserve there it is, the Trinity V. Uh, that's the uh, Medgate. Medgate, yep, telemedicine service. Ayon, ang galing kasi even pala when you're abroad, you can also you can also avail of it, yeah. no? Galing kasi day daytime, nighttime, perfect. It's actually it's actually uh, kumbaga parang very accessible, no? Lahat naman tayo ngayon naka, naka smartphone na and marami ng marami ng provisions, uh, promos actually for unlimited data. So uh, Cyrus naka mute ka by the way. So so yeah, um 
Uh, sorry for those who are on IG Live. Pasensya na po kasi hindi po pwedeng mag 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 um, share ng video. So uh, for those who weren't able to see it uh, because you're watching by IG Live, uh, this video naman will be available on uh, Bixi, Bixi Facebook. Uh, uh, the, you can just check the video later. So again, it's via it's UBX via Medgate app. Yung uh, tel unlimited telemedicine services. So um. Um, I think there's first, a, I, oh. there, sorry, there's a question here, uh, Attorney V, that I see. Uh, is there insurance for high risk hobbies such as surfing and diving? Uh, short answer the Philippines, I'm not certain. Uh, however, what you want to do is like you want to check your health insurance policy or your existing life insurance policy if they cover surfing and diving. But for example, if it's like high risk, it's usually an exclusion. Uh, I think that's a very good question. No? But let's not assume that uh, it's, it, it's good to assume that hindi kagad covered and check with your uh, insurance company whether it's covered no and then for diving uh, we have that for enough uh, for um, travel insurance uh, that's quite common uh, pre pandemic and hopefully we'll be able to travel soon kasi maraming nag travel and then they go for diving uh, the insurance policy only covers uh, up to 30 meters or whatever's uh, provided by your paddy license iba parang alam ko yung diving din naman ako nagda dive but uh, that's the insurance person in me. Uh, yeah, uh, there's there's coverage for it. Uh, my recommendation is uh, if any existing one or maybe travel would be a good one. Uh, travel insurance would be a good one. Check if uh, it covers uh, extreme sports. Extreme sports tawag namin uh, There would be companies that uh, don't cover it. Uh, there would be companies that have options uh, to add those uh, extreme sports coverage. Yep. Interesting. Uh, ako, ano, uh, Cyrus, ano, no? mahilig kasi ako mag-travel. So I usually also get uh, travel insurance kasi mahirap na, di ba? Uh, and siguro, if uh, if I may, ano, if I may advise, <laughs> this is not a legal advice, but it's a practical advice that um, at the earliest possible time, please get the, the you know, the appropriate insurance. Kasi yun nga na, na kwento ko kay Cyrus yesterday uh, when I uh, got a car um Sabi ko dun sa agent no uh, parang uh, I have to you have to enroll me agad dun sa dun sa insurance so tumingin ako may mga offer naman sila tapos tumingin ako nung nung pinaka okay na I think that I could afford at that time so uh, yun nga since it was a new car ganyan kumuha ako agad on the day that the car was delivered so I made sure sabi ko sa kanya you have to file this agad wala lang kasi I mean, uh, kung, kung may mangyari or what, at that time, wala akong extra uh, money to to pay for that. Wala akong budget for, you know, like uh, those things. Kasi hindi naman siya, kumbaga, hindi naman siya dapat talaga nangyayari. And, well, uh, I'm glad I did that at the earliest uh, opportunity I could get. Kasi uh, what happened was, um, I wasn't used to a uh, big car. And I actually bumped yung, yung door. Actually, maliit lang naman, pero na-cover kasi yung dalawang, dalawang pinto eh. Uh, maliit lang siya, actually, wala pa yatang 10 inches. Pero uh, tinamaan yung dalawang door on the passenger side. And since it was a new car, talagang <laughs> it was within the warranty pa and all. And uh, thank God, because of the insurance that I got, <laughs> they actually replaced the entire thing. So, yeah, replaced nila yung 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 buong panel ng dalawang door. So, hindi lang ni repair, they replaced it. So, um and it was uh, fully covered by the by the insurance. So, uh talagang at the earliest uh, possible opportunity, uh please get one. Ayun, ang daming binigay ni Cyrus kanina na na options, no, na mga um uh, uh, mga medical uh, medical personal or whatever accident yeah. insurance. So, um question pala kasi uh, one of my friends um actually mentioned kanina um pa paano yung premiums no uh, sometimes kasi we're worried about the premium mm. so um siguro you can share uh some you know like uh, how to uh, uh on tips no kung ano yung ano yung paano paano ba namin mauwing paano namin mababayaran yung premiums mahal ba or uh, uh, how frequent ba yung payment ganun uh, what are our options okay uh, broad question ask. so premiums uh yeah for for layman's term uh premium is yung amount na binabayad mo for your insurance coverage uh then mm -hmm. we'll go back kanina so there's life insurance and there's general insurance so life is pertaining to my life as an individual ito yung uh usually you see products from sun life about this and uh, that's the popular one actually so yung mga may agents 
that they're promoting to you that if something goes wrong, critical illness, uh, what do you call this? Tawag dito? <laughs> a hospitalization, uh, again, you'd have a benefit, uh, cash benefit for that. Now, to your point, Attorney V, it's good to have it as early as possible. It's no different from your car. If it's if not, it's more important for a person's life. Because going back to the insurance premium, no, because it's about risk, diba? Right? The older you are, sorry to say, or the more sickly you are, mas malaki yung risk na magkakasakit ka or for lack of a better term again, you know, uh, the individual will pass away. But when you're younger, you're healthier, statistics, the numbers don't lie, the likelihood of someone passing away at the age of 18 is less likely than the likelihood of someone passing away at the age of 80. It's just, it's just numbers, right? It's reality. Uh, to answer the question for premium, uh, simply put, if you're, ano yun eh, kasi parang risk, di ba? Ano yung probability na may mangyayaring di maganda or magkaklaim ka? Ayaw kong, ayaw kong, ayaw kitang i-cover kung malaki ang ibabayaran ko pag may nangyayaring di maganda sa'yo. Ngayon, pag bata ka, it's unlikely, you're not smoking, hindi ka magkakasakit sa baga, you're not drinking, uh, you live a healthy lifestyle, I could price you just nice because I know that if something goes wrong with you, then it's a, it's an unfortunate event. Pero kung halimbawa, nakita ko meron kang history of smoking, your alcoholism, your family history as well uh, will factor in. If you look at that, they ask you about that as well, di ba? Um, then that, that will be factored in into the price. That's not, so that's for the life insurance. For general insurance, it's the same thing. Um, like your car, Attorney V, uh, it's brand new. I'm sure uh, it cost, it's cost money to repair that car. It's not, a, it's, not a small, it's not a small car, right? So even with the car, the cost of it to be repaired is higher Then the premium is, of course, higher. Similarly, and again, I, I couldn't agree more with you, Attorney B. This is not scripted. You get it earlier. Because a brand new car is less likely to break down or meet an accident. Unless you're Attorney B, you're just going to get out of your But then, 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 that's a human diba? thing. I don't know what happened. I'm just the one who was talking So, yeah, sometimes, you know, things happen. But, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that, that's... Yeah. That's what it is for, no? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, get it early. Uh, uh, my recommendation is to andaling sabihin lalo na pag industry like find the right product for you. Uh, probably you, you narrow it down to ano ba yung kailangan mo cover uh, I think which leads us to the last question that we have here. It's like, what's, what's a must-have insurance for the middle-aged women? Again, going back, uh, life and general insurance. Suggest you start off with your life and health insurance. Uh, because uh, that's something that you have to take care of. Uh, if, uh, again, uh, we're not an uh, insurance-exposed culture. Uh, if you don't have it yet, I highly suggest you start looking into that. Uh, the second part would be things that are of value to you or uh, have means to your livelihood. Again, car is another one. You use it every day to travel, and pag nasira yan, malaki yung damage. It's good to have that insurance. Your house is another one. Uh, contents as well, especially if you spend a lot on your house. Or uh, yeah, I even have this, like when I was back in the Philippines about 15 years ago, a colleague of mine nasunog yung bahay nila. And then I would have expected her to be like distraught or parang, alam mo yun, parang, syempre nasunog ka ng bahay. It's everything. And then later on, I realized about this, uh, may insurance daw siya. I didn't even know what it was at the time. And the uh, insurance policy kicked in and yeah, uh, they were able, I mean, of course, it's still an unfortunate event. But again, Walang sakit ng ulo tsaka walang sama ng loob. Mal mal lesson yung sama ng loob because you were covered by the policy. And then down the line, uh, things that are material to you, maybe your uh, your luxury handbags if you're into that kind of thing <laughs> or your jewelry. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think at our uh, at this point in the Philippines, uh, I highly suggest we start looking at the basic necessities, which is life and health insurance. And then the things that would, uh, uh, that are material to our day-to-day -day lives like your, again, your vehicle um, and also your um, house. And again, as you mentioned, attorney V, since you like to travel, I myself, I'm, I'm a fan of travel insurance. F feeling ko, ano ko eh, feeling, feeling ko, uh, millionaire ako pag nagta-travel ako kasi may travel insurance ako. Kasi pag, pag may nangyari, hindi maganda, okay lang. Kasi meron akong insurance policy that will kick in. But yes. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah. you know, because especially when you travel, you're actually in an unfam... Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm mute yeah. In, on IG. So when you travel, kasi di ba, you're an, in you're in an ano, unfamiliar territories. So hindi ka hindi mo alam yung terrain and all. Eh, on my part, I like to hike, ganyan, ATV, mga ganon. So um, yeah, I mean, uh, and usually I also do solo traveling. So at least if 
you know, something happens, then there's there's like um, immediate medical assistance. Lalo kung yung pupuntahan mo na lugar is ang mahal ng 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 mga ganung bagay, mga ambulance and whatsoever. So and um yun na um there are as you mentioned kanina uh, things that are valuable to you, no? Tama yung 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 titignan based with sa question na to. And of course um. Uh, tawag dito, makikita din kasi natin yung mga iba't ibang premiums nga. Meron namang hindi sobrang mahal. Siguro yung, ex- yung, ex- yung example mo kanina was a Lamborghini. Of course, we expect that the premium to be paid on a monthly or quarterly or yearly basis is uh, mahal. no But uh, there are actually um, insurance, um, insurance like life insurance or health insurance. Um, if I may give this an, as an example, no? when I started working, doon ako kumuha ng life insurance sa uh, life Life, oh, life insurance. Tapos, syempre may budget ako for my salary, ganyan. And during that time, I couldn't afford naman to like pay na, sige, 10,000 agad per month yung premium. I could, I cannot I cannot pay for that. So, I started, um, ano talaga, like uh, maliit yung amount. Nag-start yata ako with 800 yata, eh, 800 per month na premium. Tapos, um, kapag may, may extra saving the next year, I made it one, two, parang ganun yung nangyari. So parang step by step naman siya. So uh, I think that's also one um, less intimidating fact no, that you can actually start. But at that point naman, you are already covered. So, yes. I think, I think very, again, uh, I'd borrow your quote uh, kanina, Attorney V. I feel you should have done the talk. <laughs> uh, you start early. Uh, there's also a reason why you could pay 800 pesos lang uh, during that time. Uh, for your insurance policies was because you're also relatively uh, younger at the time. So your insurance premium would have also been lower, uh, especially for the life and health aspect. So yeah, very spot on. Start early. Uh, actually, yan yung, ano ko, yan yung regrets ko din. <laughs> yung, ano, when I started working, somebody told me, oh, you should get uh, life insurance na para mababa yung premium. And you know, it's uh, like yung savings pa compound. But syempre, I didn't know any better. I didn't do that early on. Um, but yeah, I mean, as soon as I got into the industry, then it's something I looked into. And uh, yun nga yung maganda din ngayon. Uh, because again, 10, 15 years ago, this transfer of information wasn't as common. Like, you needed to be an ABS-CBN to have this talk. But right now, like, you could just practically go to YouTube or Instagram or this type of forums and you'd hear down from the industry people like myself and you know demystify the mystery that is insurance and from experience uh, like what you shared just now at V, like your car being in a car accident it's a real scenario it really happened to you and it's something that everyone can relate to and yeah i i, I do hope sincerely that uh we'll turn to that fall we'll be uh, we'll follow in the footsteps of india and indonesia that uh, like buying insurance for us is like common. Like we, we don't have to have this talk anymore on educating why insurance is lit. Like it's commonplace. It's like paying for utility bills or your telco bills. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, speaking of fora where we could discuss this uh, things, no, um, uh, I think we have lots of lots of uh, viewers right now on IG and Facebook. If you need uh, a forum, you know, to discuss more, to know more about yung insurance and uh, siguro parang echo session on 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 what we're uh, doing right now, please download the Bixi app and register, go to the community. May mga iba't ibang ano doon, may mga iba't ibang uh, topics. Uh, isa doon yung insurance kasi it's a very uh, we think that it's a very important aspect talaga of our lives. Not just women, you know, kasi Bixi talaga was was developed for women, but me, women and men alike. You can also <laughs> download the app and then register and know more talaga about insurance. So insurance is just one of the topics that is being highly discussed in the community. So pagpasok niyo doon, punta lang kayo sa community. Tignan niyo yung mga iba't ibang topics, nandun yung insurance. So there's there's other, you know, other topics, savings, investment, etc. But for sure, insurance is one of uh, the topics. And even one, pala, um, plugging na rin, even one of our, of the Bixi ambassadors, no? Ayan, is, uh, is a licensed uh, insurance advisor. So, makakasagot siya doon. So, pwede yon So, again, uh, ayan, so back to Cyrus. If you, I think may, may isang question dito. <laughs> Sabi, heartbreak insurance, Sir Cyrus, meron ba? Ay, nako. Nathan. Ah, si Attorney Nathan. Nako, di ka, di ka pwedeng makover niya na Attorney Nathan. Uh, Magkami kang na break na hearts ng mga babae. Uh, lawyer, lawyer din yan si Attorney Nathan, Attorney B. But yeah, I mean, to answer your question, that, that was, ano eh, um, kasi we're trying to make insurance in this, uh, interesting in the industry. It was actually explored, yung heartbreak insurance. Uh, 
and then the angle was like uh, this was early days of Tinder na parang yung client mo is the Tinder and if you go through the Tinder platform and you meet someone and it didn't work out you'll get compensated for your heartbreak or something like that but obviously um, it's an interesting anecdote uh, however uh, if you're going to go back to the basics principles of insurance mahirap i-quantify yun paano may ko-quantify ko talagang na break yung heart mo uh, is it the number of tears that you shed or uh, gaano katagal yung relationship nyo and how abrupt it ended so yeah but yeah Thanks for the question, Attorney Nathan. We'll think about that. Ayan. So, baka pwedeng, baka naman, ano, baka pwedeng i-explore in the future, no? Kasi, alam ko, medically, there's a broken heart syndrome talaga, eh. So, baka pwede siyang i-relate, diba? no? I don't Actually, know. You, you know, know what, Attorney V, tama yun. Um, that's a very good, ano, uh, validation of the claim. Kung may doctor na magda-diagnose sa'yo na broken-hearted ka, and it's clinically proven, yeah, I'm sure some insurance company will write that. See? That's an idea for you. Ayan. So sorry, I have uh, one last question. I don't know if uh, uh, this is this is one uh, question that was asked by my friend. No, because uh, I I usually like send the live events to my friends. So the question niya is, um, paano kaya yung mga uh, may autoimmune diseases like psoriasis? Baka you have an you have a, a suggestion. May alam ka na insurance that could cover those things. Meron kaya so, uh, She specifically mentioned psoriasis. No, it's a uh, it's an autoimmune disease, tama ba? Yep, yep. yep. Yeah, so okay. uh, with that, uh, I wouldn't. I'm not a medical expert for that, but in insurance context, uh, that's what we would call like a pre-existing condition. So if it's an existing condition, then it's unlikely that it'll, it will be covered. Uh, so that will be an exception case. So what's mm-hmm. going to happen is you need to talk to the insurance company uh, to tell them if you'd be if you'd, they'd be able to cover you for that uh, disease. Uh, yeah, it's an exception case. It's not something that you can get off the shelf. So off the shelf meaning like, I go to an insurance company website, I talk to an agent, they have a product for that. So if they don't cover it, uh, then it's going to be an exception request. But yeah, there would be uh, health insurance companies that uh, will be able to cover that. But again, going back at Attorney V, in terms of the premium, uh, again, because it's an existing, the likelihood of that being severe is high uh, because it's an existing disease. Uh, so the premium, while it may be available, could be relatively high. So long answer, it's not off the shelf available, but it could be something that some insurance company would write uh, and when they write it, uh, it may be priced a little bit higher because of the uh, probability of someone uh, making a claim from, uh, from that disease. Yep. All right. Ayun. So at least, I know, may possibility pa rin pala, no? It's just that, uh, sorry, I was mute on IG. May possibility pa rin pala, but uh, it's just that, syempre, there's an additional cost on the premium. So yun. So actually, uh, ladies and gentlemen who are watching us right now, there are lots of insurance. No, I learned a lot from this session. Imagine there's um there's glasses insurance pa bala. So like uh like uh, uh Cyrus mentioned kanina na things that are valuable to you could actually be insured. So um yeah, I think uh, I guess this is uh kumbaga, this this session no na Sobrang breakdown niya yung mga iba't ibang insurance that we could actually avail of. And hindi naman sila pala parang nakakatakot, ganyan. And actually, kumbaga may mga options tayo, hindi lang yung life insurance na parang, ay mamamatay na ba ako kaagad or maaksidente na ba ako agad. Hindi eh. Uh, there are other options talaga. It's actually like... um safeguarding your savings then halimbawa may uh, may may as na mention nga niya kanina yung bubong na sira sa 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 bagyo instead of instead of like getting a ton of money from your savings na pwede mong gamitin sana kung for for other matters um doon ka kukuha if that thing was insured so um yeah we actually kumbaga parang tama insurance is actually lit it's not a very it's not a very it's not a scary concept it's not an intimidating one so yun so like he encouraged you kanina na uh, as much as possible uh kumbaga parang uh, know the things that are valuable to you and of course your life our lives is valuable to us syempre no so uh i think we can start from there no the assessment so uh again um Again, I would like to announce, ayan, yung na-mention ni Cyrus, uh, Cyrus kanina na uh, free insurance, free personal insurance for the first 100 users who will claim a personal, um, uh, make a claim 
inside the Bixi app. So, what, uh, ang gagawin nyo lang, wala pong bayad to, you don't have to pay anything. Kung may tumawag sa inyo mamaya, asking for a payment, <laughs> hindi Bixi yon. it's not Bixi, it's not UBX. But please, um, um, go inside the Bixi app, download the Bixi app, go inside the Bixi app on, in community and just claim. So, um, um, yung, yung, yung um, instructions is also found in our um, IG and Facebook. So, IG is MyBixie, M-Y-B-I-X-I-E. Insurance is lit, ganyan, inside the, inside the Bixie app. And then, we will, um, kasi makikita naman na yung username nyo doon and your contact. So we will contact uh, you via the uh, via the Bixi app. So Cyrus, is there more uh, you'd want to add to this um, uh, conversation? I'm I'm good. Uh, thanks, Attorney V and uh, Rosalia and Allison uh, and the Bixi team for having me here. Uh, hopefully, it was uh, informative. Uh, yeah, but I'd love to share more, uh, especially as we progress. I hope in the following months uh, there's going to be more talk uh, about insurance in the country. Uh, and I look forward to uh, seeing everyone again. Are we still live? Uh, yes, I think. Uh, on, I, on Instagram, we were interrupted, but I'm trying to get back. But on Facebook, we're still live. Yeah. We are good. Thank you very much, uh, Attorney V. Okay, so I think we were interrupted in in IG. No, thank you, Cyrus. Uh, uh, thank you so much for your valuable inputs. No, siguro in the next uh, few days, please expect us to <laughs> to you know like uh, um, ask questions. Ganyan, baka we have please. questions that could uh, you could address, and especially for women who are inside the Big C app and men nga kanina, Actually, some of my friends were actually men. Na parang, pwede ba kami download ng Big C? Of course. <laughs> of oh. course, no. I, the Bixi was envisioned as a financial app for women, but you're not prohibited, naman, to to download the app and know more. So this is uh, kumbaga, information sharing and uh, knowledge network and tools. Sabi nga ni Bixi, no. So everyone, naman, is welcome to download the app and know more, of course, about uh, the the wealth of um, information na nandun sa uh, Bixi app. So, uh, thank you so much, Cyrus, no, for for uh, your experience, insights, your uh, valuable inputs to today's live, no. So, I think very popular itong, itong yung ano natin, yung live natin today. I think, uh, uh, based on Facebook right now, and even on IG kanina before we were interrupted. So, yeah, insurance is in the blit. <laughs> it's not a scary concept. It's lit. And yeah, thank you very much. And I hope uh, you know we could um, collaborate on you know um, maybe we could we could do another session of this. Why yes. not? Or we could uh, do uh, more uh, sessions, uh, different types, naman of insurance that could that that we could offer or or, or, or women and men could avail of. So thank you so much. And yeah. uh, before okay. I end, yeah, thank you, th thank you so much, Ayan. So before I end this live, I would like to share. Um, first, um, ayan, before I share our live next week, uh, usually kasi, di ba, uh, may mga celebration on Valentine's. So, please watch out for Bixie's collaboration with, with, uh, a certain shop, ayan, for, uh, for a Valentine event. So, um, check, check nyo lang ang aming mga socials, Facebook, IG, ayan, everyone is on Insta and Facebook right now. So, check. Check, check nyo lang lagi. But first, um, uh, ito, very sure na to. What is happening next week naman for our Bixi Live? So, next week, sorry again for those who are on IG, no? Um, hindi kasi nasa-share ang screen. But for next week, we will have episode 2 of Money Wellness with Miss Mary Ann Bolly. So, Thursday, 17 February at 6 p.m., so, uh, we used Manila Time uh, for our event. So, lahat ng events natin naka-plug siya at Manila Time at 6 p.m. Para yun, after nyo ng work, ganyan, or before mag-dinner, we could, you know, spare like maybe 30 to 45 minutes for um, money wellness next week. So, to today, insurance, next week naman ay money wellness episode. So, just, you know, it's, it's, it's a continuous learning 
for everybody, including including myself, no? <laughs> yung mga bagay-bagay na nanalive dito, minsan kasi nag, uh, I, I, I am behind the scenes lang, ganyan. But um, to be to be honest, I'm learning a lot on, you know, like last week we had crypto, now naman insurance. I actually, uh, I was actually taking down notes while Cyrus was uh, talking. So hopefully, uh, makareach out tayo sa mas maraming kababaihan. And of course, mga kalalakihan na gusto ding matuto uh, sa mga ganitong uh, bagay on financial journey and uh, other um, matters on finances. So next week, Money Wellness, Episode 2 with Miss Mary Ann Volley. We had an Episode 1, I think, in December last year. Uh, this is happening on Thursday, uh, February 17 at 6 p.m. Manila. So please um, invite your friends, invite your family members, your office mates. Ayan. So again, thank you so much for this afternoon for being with us this afternoon no ayan we're um medyo nag overtime tayo ng konti ngayon kasi usually 6 to 7 lang but that means that this is a productive conversation and daming mga questions and daming mga inputs also from our um from 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 our audience no may mga nag phone in may mga mahihiyain mag type so yun natanong ko naman kay Cyrus so again thank you Cyrus and thank you everyone uh for uh joining us this afternoon so that ends our live and see you on Thursday at 6 p.m. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.